In this example, we're going to use example data to give students a letter grade on their final. To do this, we're going to use a combination of the index and match functions, along with a new table. So let's create the table now. I'm going to go ahead and format this as a table because it's easier to look at when we use functions. Now we're going to create a little test area just for us so I can show you how this works. So what we're going to have it do is we're going to have match use the lookup value, look into this array and return the value that most closely matches it. So if this is a 93, we're going to use the less than function so that it would return 92. And it says position five. So something went wrong here. And after looking at the Microsoft support article, we find that it has to be in ascending order, which means as data is added, the number, the value gets greater. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this right now, smallest to largest, and it's still position number five. Now we're going to use position five in an index function, index. And we're going to look at this array over here, the grades. We have the match function that's returning us the number five in the first column. And there you go. So 93 is an A. If we said 105, someone got extra credit, it, it is an A. If we said 83, it's a B. 84, it's a B. 76, C. 66, D. 55, F. If we're right on the money, 65 is going to be a D. So you see how this works. Now what we have to do is program that same function into a new column here. So I'm going to say first, I always like to start off with match. Lookup value is going to be this one to the left. Less than. And remember, this has to be in ascending order. It's going to give us a position. Now I'm going to go back here and type in index. Select the letter grades. One column. And there you go. We now have letter grades for each of the finals. Thank you for watching.